Hello guys. Today I'm gonna tell you about our first arrival to US and what happened. Well, first day we came to home and we slept at this day and we hadn't got much thing at home and we couldn't even find something to eat. But hopefully, thanks to my supervisor, he just had put on our house one milk one gallon milk and one bread. That was the only thing that we ate at that time. In the morning, you know, we have to go to groceries because, you know, in the US, your groceries are not near to your place. You know, you need a car. A car is a must here. So we decided to go to the grocery, but we don't know how far away it is. Of course, we're checking in the maps and, you know, uh, is walking distance of 30 minutes, something like that. So at that time, because we don't have car, we don't have any friends, we don't have anybody to help us, and we, do, we don't know anything about transportation. Actually, you know, in India, transportation is very poor. If we even had known about it, we, you know, wouldn't have found one of them to go there with three people, me, my wife, and my five-year-old child. So we decided to go. We start to work. We go out, of, go out of the home, and you know here the roads are very, very wide, very wide roads, and there are lots of cars. Everybody is almost everybody, everybody are using cars. And at that time, there are some traffic lights. We couldn't figure it out how to cross the street because in traffic lights, you know, there's only hand. There is a picture of hand. Oh my God! What does this hand shows us? You know, in some traffic lights, you just see hands. Not even, you don't see any countdown numbers, any walking man or anything. So we couldn't decide when we are gonna cross the street. And we got confused. There is one hand and stopping can. Then, you know, we realized that there is one stopping can. And also there is a flashing can like that. Flashing can and stopping can. But still, we are not sure in which hand we should cross the street. So at the top, hopefully, we have found someone who was from China, most probably, have just, you know, uh, making a guess from their face, his face. He was from China, most probably, and asked him, and he helped us. And he said us that if stopping again, you see, then you cannot cross the street. It means that you have to stop. But if the you know hand is flashing like that, then you can pass. Okay, and we learned it. And while walking towards the nearest grocery, which was Crocker, then you know my child was going into the into the lands, some grasses, and playing around. And you know we were very frightened of him doing so because you know while coming here we. In, in Turkey, we used to talk that in America, there are lots of people having cons and, you know, lands are belong to their private property. So if we just breach this, breach this private pr property, they can even have the right to shoot you, right? So that's why we got frightened of our child to run in this land. So we are in one way while walking, we are trying to child, our child not to go these things and also you know there are you know lots of cars around nobody's walking and you're alone you and your family me my wife and my child there are no people maybe you know one or three people you can see most of them were homeless people you know they are living around they don't you know their uh, clothes are rocked and we got frightened of but still you know as an father of the family of this, you know, uh, as a father of this family, I have to take care of my wife and my child, but still I'm getting frightened while walking, but because it was noon, so I just gathered my courage and just uh, continue to walking. Um, hopefully, um, let me see, we came to Grosser, Kroger, uh, about 
some bread, some milk, some other stuffs to eat. And there were lots of things. And even uh, in the, while paying the money, you know, because we don't have a credit card, any cards to pay it, we just pay it with uh, dollars. We have some dollars and we're giving it. But, you know, at the time, I didn't know that the, the amount of money was written on the case you know, on the screen so i asked them you know what's the price so the, the person said to me something i couldn't understand i couldn't figure it out what he said so i asked again i got three times i asked them you know they say something then hopefully uh, he showed me the screen then i understood it and also i i was avoiding speaking english because you know i wasn't able to understand anything when I ask something, the people, when they respond to me very fast, I was just trying to catch some words. I wasn't looking at the whole conversation or oh, just focusing on what this person is telling me. I was trying to choose, pick up some words and to understand every single word at that time. Although I have many experience with speaking foreigners, but you know, although you know that you know how to speak English, how to communicate with the people, but when you start living in a country with languages spoken, then you no, know, it's something different. When you are forced to speak, that's something different. And as a person, very excited while speaking, so uh, I, I got screwed at that time. And then we have bought everything that we need, and we start to walk. It, it took 30 minutes to walk, you know, 30 minutes. It, it wasn't easy for us to go there with child. So it was no, normal 30 minutes, but with child, it's just become 50 minutes, maybe more than that. I haven't, I haven't checked it out, but I know the distance, 30 minutes distance. And we walked back to our home. You know, there are lots of packets and we have bought lots of things to eat and you know it's very difficult to carry you know it's like in turkey we call this bazaar when you go to bazaar if you don't have any cart then you need to carry all of the packets with your hands so it's very tough very difficult because all the time your muscles are stretching all the time these heavy things are making a pressure and pulling your hands and muscles blow and then you, you know, all the time stretching muscles, feeling you very bad. It's really, really difficult. And, and uh, you know, because we, we came here from Turkey. So one Turkish lira, one dollar at that time was eight Turkish liras. And then we buy something because I haven't got any salary here. It was very difficult. To make a shopping because think about that i'm buying something five dollars it means that I almost 50 40 50 turkish dollars for me so it's a you know much money for me too much money because you know i'm buying a milk and it's three dollar four dollar so when compared to turkey it's really expensive for me according to my currency so uh, we were hesitating while buying something and also we have gone to markets with some friends and you know while shopping they're you know they're helping us and we're shopping there and they're with us so it's really you know difficult for us you know i cannot pick up what i want for example i'm checking the prices but i'm ashamed of checking the prices while my friends are there, there. if i went there with my family i would not feel like that but you know my first days were very difficult still i don't have a car but let's see so then uh, as i said roads are so wide there are no people walking just we are walking there and there are some homeless people and we couldn't even figure it out how the traffic lights are working and hopefully we came home and at home there were nothing to even sleep no beds hopefully there were uh, 
can say rocks, you know, at home, rocks are sticked on the ground in, in, the, in the beds. But uh, on the dine or the living room, there are no rocks. But beds, there are rocks. So we had some quilts, blankets, and we put the blankets, uh, make some of the blankets, uh, what, uh, make some of the, the, the plow, and then slept at that night. That was our second day in US. It was very, very difficult, guys. Very, very difficult. See you in the next video.